But what are we seeing in this key holiday quarter? Yeah, so we, we, we're seeing robust demand. Um, so we've seen um, a few of the companies talk about how we're looking into the festive period. Hyatt, for example, said their leisure demand into the festive period um, is up 30% on 2019. And we got a little bit of an early look into 2023. And again, they're saying there's, there's robust demand into, uh, into 2023. So right now, for most of the big cap stocks we've here, we're not hearing any negativity, any signs of training down, shorter trips, going down through the star ratings. It, it just looks robust at the moment. All right, so robust is obviously good if you're in the travel sector. Um, we heard these results. We heard the calls. We saw some beats and some raises, so some really encouraging signs, at least how these businesses feel about things. But as we see rising rates, inflation continuing to be high, what is your outlook? I mean, obviously, people are kind of probably locked in for the holiday season. They want to see their families. They want to see their friends. They want to go places after three years of lockdowns at various degrees all around the world. But beyond that, what's the outlook look like? Yeah, look, I think we've got um, a, a, a good good confidence that we're going to see strong demand, I think, you know, for at least maybe another nine to 12 months. There's still high saving rates. Employment levels are still high. And there's still a, 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 a remix of spend away from goods into services. So, so, so consumers want to travel. They want to spend money on this. Now, travel historically has been cyclical, uh, and, and it is a discretionary item. And I think if the economy stays weak, uh, inflation stays high, eventually this is going to be, be hit. But I think for travel, we maybe have a stay of execution for 12 months, and we just have to see how the macro environment is as we get into next summer and beyond. So when you look at these different uh, companies that offer you know, hospitality, whether it be Airbnb, which is obviously a platform, as well as booking holdings, and then you have uh, straight up pure play hotel chains like Marriott, Hyatt, Accor, which one of you, these do you think is best suited to kind of uh, overperform as we go forward with rising rates, inflation and things like that? Well, I would say that what we've probably seen as a trend during this is you need to show momentum. It's not it's not good enough to just show good results, good demand. You've got to show momentum. We saw Airbnb fall down 13 percent just on the hint of deceleration. And if you were looking for, for a signs where you could almost sort of guarantee further momentum, I would say having exposure to business travel is actually quite a good thing because that's going to continue to recover for, for a longer time period. And actually exposure to Asia um, is going to be a good thing. If you look at why booking were able to say that their October was better than September, it was because of Asia. So I would be looking for those stocks where you've got business travel recovery, Asia recovery. That's going to give you the ongoing momentum from here. So as we've seen a lot of people during the, the pandemic kind of get into the stock market and researching things, how important is technology and innovation going to be for the travel sector? I mean, for me, I generally think of, think of it as I go somewhere, I sleep there, and I keep going. But when we're talking about companies like Booking Holdings and Airbnb, how much uh, is innovation a part of their narrative going forward? Yeah, I, I think an increasing amount. I mean, you've got the sort of uh, the, the, the distribution technology, and they're going to increasingly be trying to persuade you to use their platform over any other platform. And that's going to be around AI, fintech, those products that are going to be able to properly predict what you're going to what you're going to book. Uh, recommend things. We see Airbnb investing in a, lot, in a lot of that. On the hotel side, they've got that distribution tech. But I think we're increasingly going to see the new consumers want things like mobile phone door entry. They're going to want choose your own room. They're going to want to be able to control the heating and the lighting and the TV from their mobile phone. And those hotels that haven't invested in that may lose out to those that, that, that have. The next consumers will want that further reduction in friction.